ice cream for us. Cottontail is this alligator right here. We know that Cottontail is a female, but we have a suspicion that Moonshine, who is supposed to be Cottontail's sister, is actually not a sister, but a brother. Her hips are different, her snout is different, like everything about Cottontail is different than Moonshine. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. She's she's more slender. She's slighter built than, than Moonshine. So that goes along with differences between males and females. So could you get your fancy equipment together and then we'll find out for sure. Let's do it. So you can see here that Moonshine and all albino alligators would not thrive very well because they can't sneak up on their food. Danny's going to catch Moonshine and we're going to solve this mystery of whether Moonshine is a boy or a girl. Hopefully, finally we can figure this out. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna walk out for us, right to Dr. B. Can you walk out, Moonshine? <laughs> I don't know if she's learned that yet. <laughs> See if I can send Moonshine towards you a little bit. Okay. Ah, that was a lot, <laughs> not a little bit. Sorry. Hey, moonshine is a small alligator, but Moonshine is very, very strong. All right. All right, now what? Always some shenanigans. Uh, you got the tape? Yeah, it's in my back pocket. All right, we're gonna need it. <laughs> you ready? I got it. Be quick. It's all wet too. It's okay. That's why it's electrical tape. Brandon, get down here. What do you Come want? On. What, what you do you doing need? Up there? Give Brandon the tail. That might it, be this ain't a spectator sport. Here. Uh, All right, it's good when you've paid your dues already. Try to roll. Go, uh, uh, Brandon. Uh, muscles. I'm trying. One, two, three. Okay. All right, Dr. B, what are we doing here? Well, uh, normally when we're checking the sex of an alligator, um, we check inside the cloaca, and males have a single copulatory organ for, for reproduction called a phallus that sits inside the cloaca. So you usually can feel that. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna check that, cause that'll be the easiest <laughs> way, right? Right. Reach up in here, easy buddy, easy. I am not feeling anything. Right, which would make you think that it's a girl, but my yeah. suspicions are different. We are a girl or there was something traumatic and the copulatory organ was amputated or it's an albino and, and they have weird problems and yep, it just yep. didn't have one and it wasn't born with one that's popularity so we've done this before but we've never done it during breeding season and we've been unable to locate the what well normally we're trying to find one of the gonads either the <laughs> ovary or the testicle right and testicles are more difficult to find if you're in the middle of breeding season the ovaries have a large follicles and it's much more um it's easier to see it's more visible Gotcha. So hopefully, if we if we truly are a girl, it should just be fairly obvious. All right. And we are doing this behind the scenes. We don't usually let you guys see behind the scenes, but today is a special day. So right. what are we putting on there? So first, we put a little bit of alcohol. It's going down, Dr. B. Catch the alcohol. Alcohol jelly. I don't know how you can tell from this what anything is. To me, it just looks like a hurricane. There's Danielle <laughs> holding up the shade cloth. <laughs> turn it the probe now it's what's that hole that's a uh, intestine coming at us oh yeah that's what i thought yeah me too that's what i thought see i was gonna say that's our insides yeah, well you're right you are correct thanks guys leave it broad guys let's just see the other side because we got weird anatomy and it's just one-sided see moonshine always used to try to fight pearl so that's why my suspicion is that moonshine is actually a male so for the middle of breeding season this should just be a bunch of circles in here that don't elongate when I rotate around and those are we don't have any of that so I think they're looking like a boy and if we can try to find the testicles that'd be great but they're really hard to find them. you can find them testicles flip her over does that matter yeah, no, yeah, yeah. flip them over rub their tummy and they go right to sleep that's what the, that's what they say works on me <laughs> <laughs> that's starting to look like that might be an ovary but this is looking like this might be an ovary here uh-huh here Seven six. But but if I come to this section, that's a that's a definitely bow here. But I'm looking like that's kind of follicle like and follicle like. So if we have an immature female, it's possible. But see now that's elongates. Nope, those are intestinal loops. Oh. 
See, there should be there should be follicles, right? Yeah, there should be follicles. There, and these, there's not. This whole side should be filled with follicles. There's not. This goes along with this is support male. You know, so this is. this here looks um, it's consistent with a testicle. It's about the right size. It's maybe a little on the small side, but that would go along if we got a small copulatory organ. So, what's your verdict? My verdict is Moonshine's a boy. What? What? I told you guys! You're actually saying that loud. You think that? 80%. Yes. 80%. He's <laughs> like, 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 like the weatherman. That's what I was about to say. Chance 80% chance. What? Pretty, pretty called the death testicle. I can't find ovaries. Uh, it fits with boy, except for you don't have the phallus, which is unusual. Well, so what's the verdict, Dr. B? Moonshine's a boy. Moonshine's a boy? Oh, that's crazy. Boy. That's so crazy. Well, do us a favor if you like this video, check that like button, chomp notifications on, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to too, like, share, and let everybody know how much you